Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another episode of Polite Coaster Alton Towers. Today we are moving to the back section of X Sector and we're going to be building Enterprise and the Oblivion Overbank that goes over Enterprise. And of course there's a few other things that I do such as uh, the queue line behind Enterprise and sort of a maintenance building I think it is behind Enterprise and Smiler Station as well never even knew that was there so uh, yeah if you like these videos then please do consider subscribing and of course turning on notifications to never miss a video anyway with that being said let's move into the first time lapse so then for the first part of the video we are going to be implementing enterprise and as you can see there this is a uh, was it workshop model unfortunately the actual flat ride uh, that resembles Enterprise in Planet Coaster is way too big. It was way, way, way too big to fit in the space uh, that uh, surrounds, not, not surrounds, but is surrounded, I mean, by the overbank. It's, it's so annoying uh, that Frontier have made Planet Coaster like this. Like, seriously, the actual Enterprise... Uh, ride in Planet Coaster is smaller than this workshop model I got however the actual footprint of it like the whole path that goes around it is so big like why is it so big does it need to be that big and yeah unfortunately it means we can't have a working enterprise because if I did put a working enterprise in there it would mean the overbank would have to be enlarged by quite a bit and it would just not be accurate at all so you know it's unfortunately come to this and it's so annoying the way Frontier made this game I when I uh, yesterday evening when I went to put the uh, the enterprise ride into the save I was like getting ready to do some work, doing about two hours work, and it was just like obstructed or terrain too uneven. And it's just like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? And I, I got so so angry with it. It's it's so annoying. It's really really annoying um, that Frontier just made it like that. I don't understand why there are so many restrictions in the game. You know, they call Planet Coaster is has the slogan simulation evolved it's simulation devolved actually uh, not simulation evolved because how can you how can you make realistic custom parks when you're too busy trying to fit in a path system or a flat ride that's just way too big and it's so so annoying that they made the game in this way and it, i would argue that rct3 was better than this because in RCT3, you could do custom rides that you can get from uh, people on like Shy Guys World. There was a ton of custom rides on Shy Guys World. I remember those days. They were fantastic doing all that. And it would mean that you could make properly realistic parks in RCT3. And it was, I would definitely argue it's so, so easy to make a realistic park in RCT3 with custom rides and custom scenery more than it is in Planet Coaster and it's so annoying and um, I've gone off subject a bit here here I'm actually doing this sort of maintenance building that I never never knew was there uh, in real life but yeah I don't really know what it is yeah my guess is a maintenance building it's just that plain brick building with a flat roof I didn't bother putting any detail into it because why it's in the trees it's behind enterprise you're not really gonna see it now are you uh, don't know why i'm paused a bit here oh i know why i was paused i actually had um virtual towers online the alpha open on my other monitor and instead of using street view and google maps and all images of enterprise and everything I was actually using Virtual Towers Online to do this, um, and it was much, much easier. I don't know how accurate Virtual Towers Online is, but it was much easier just to use that uh, than Google Images and Google Maps. Yeah, so here I'm just doing the perimeter fence that goes around the outside of Enterprise, and I don't know if this is the original perimeter fence that was there, or they maybe replaced it when Smiler came along, because this is the same perimeter fence that Smiler has as well. I've, I've no idea. It probably is the original fence and I'm just overthinking things a bit too much. Uh, normally in Planet Coaster if you want to make a circle with scenery you would put it on either side and you would just rotate it round uh, with the two pieces on each side. 
Here I just did it with the One Piece because um, Enterprise doesn't really have a full circle of fences. It's got like parts missing where there's scenery or the yacht cabin or where the um, the queue line enters the ride area. So uh, yeah, here we are going to get into a few cinematics of the progress so far on Enterprise. So then for the second part of the video, we are going to be doing the rest of the fencing around Enterprise, a bit of the scenery behind and around Enterprise, and of course the supports for the overbank. To start things off, I'm doing the fencing around the whole area that holds the arm that brings Enterprise up and puts it back down during the ride cycle, um, and I think I am going to be starting supports here. Now the supports for the overbank weren't really that difficult to do, um, they were a bit more difficult than the lift hill and the drop supports, um, but more or less they were still very very simple, it's nothing, nothing along the lines of the smiler. I mean, I remember when I was doing the supports of the smiler, oh god, I hated them. There were so many supports and I tried to get photos of good angles of the supports to try and get it as accurate as possible, especially the part that goes over the toilet block um, after the two lift hills. Oh god, those supports were horrible to do. I'm so thankful Oblivion doesn't have supports like that. Um, but yeah, these supports kind of just stride over the queue line for Enterprise, and I think that's actually the extended queue line for Enterprise. I'm not sure how often that extended queue line does get used because, well, it's Enterprise, it's kind of in the corner at the back, I mean, probably uh, doesn't really get ridden that much by the GP, I mean, I've, I'm actually going to admit now, I've never ever been on Enterprise, um, I've never been on it, I don't bother with it, to be honest, I don't ever bother with going on Enterprise, so just go into X Sector, have a ride on Oblivion and Smiler, and yeah, that's it really, I've been down to this area of X Sector to get off-ride shots of Oblivion, um, and everything from my other Alton Towers video last year, but other than that, I just don't bother at all um, with riding Enterprise, because it's, at the end of the day, once you've done one type of flat ride, you've done all of them, really. I did the um, the Huss Enterprise at Fort Park uh, last year, and, you know, after that, what's the point in queuing up for Enterprise if you've done one already, you know? And I didn't really enjoy it that much, it wasn't really intense, and I would argue it's definitely a family ride the Huss Enterprises, they definitely are a family ride, even though you go upside down in them, I would argue they're a family attraction, because they're not really intense, they're not really thrilling, it's actually kind of relaxing, to be honest, um, Enterprise, but, uh, yeah, so here I'm just doing the final few supports, once again, these are, like, kind of, uh, weird dive coaster supports, I'm, I don't really like dive coaster supports, uh, to be honest, because they're so weird, they have this circular sort of connector, and it connects to the support with a horizontal sort of cylinder. Um, yeah, it's it's such a weird support connector and I really don't like it. But uh, yeah, just doing the terraining here and doing the photography cameras. Oh, oh, actually, yeah, one thing to talk about whilst I'm doing these uh, cameras that take the picture, of course, for your on-ride photo. Pixolve, uh, a few weeks, not a few weeks ago now, oh, God, how long ago was it? Pixolve is... Um, gone into bankruptcy, of course, due to the whole pandemic, and it's a shame that Pixolve might be gone, really. I mean, I, I assume Alton Towers and Merlin will be able to operate their on-ride photos themselves, um, like they did before, before they brought in Pixolve, but Pixolve don't just do it for Merlin. I believe Drayton Manor used Pixolve, I don't know how many other theme parks use Pixolve, but, you know, Pixolve are quite a large part of the theme park industry and you know they provide all the photography stuff for the UK theme parks and to think that they're probably going to be gone I mean they're not gone for definite right now um, but uh, yeah they when the parks reopen they won't really be there to be honest um, 
be interested to see um, what sort of things get implemented. We'll be able to um, have our photos online because before with Pixolve, you could go to the Pixolve website, you could have your account details, and you could view all your on-ride photos that you have, especially with the Merlin DigiPass as well. Uh, so here I'm just doing the scenery around Enterprise, you know, easy to do the scenery, to be honest, very, very easy thing to do. One thing that I really, really want to argue in Planet Coaster, if you don't, if you don't want to spend too much time in detail, but you want to make your eyes look good, just do a ton of scenery, a ton of variety as well. So a variety of trees, bushes, rocks, it really, really, really does help out. So yeah, with all the scenery being done now, it does bring an end to today's Alton Towers Planet Coaster video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing, because it helps out the channel a lot more than you think, and of course, turn on notifications to never miss a video when these go up. I am, at the moment, trying to keep these as a daily series, so of course, do stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow's video, we will be heading around to the whole break run area, so the submission memorial garden, the whole area over there, and maybe even start on Oblivion's queue line. So do stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.